Om Swastiastu, good morning. We are from SGDB2, the first semester of PSSKDD 2021. Today, we would like to present our student project presentation, which title is Online CPD During Pandemic. Will it be as effective as the offline session? Before we start, I would like to show our members in SGDB2 that will do the presentation. And here are our members. My name is David Christopher Chanda, and now I will discuss the introduction of our presentation. First of all, this is the background. As time goes by, the development of the COVID-19 pandemic is increasing with uncontrollable numbers of cases around the world, especially in Indonesia. Without realizing it, the COVID-19 pandemic also has a big impact on the development of CBD or continuing professional development. The COVID-19 pandemic that increases rampantly must not obstruct the growth of CBD. This is CPD is held virtually. In the process of realizing it, it turns out that there are a lot of controversies filling up the space of opinions about it. One of the arguments is a statement mentioning that online CPD has lower effectiveness than offline CPD. But on the other hand, there are a lot of doctors who state or argue that online CPD makes them more focused and saves their cost. This diversity of thinking certainly creates a confusion for professionals about the efficiency of online CPD during the pandemic. Seeing it, we have the initiative to research online CPD situations during the COVID-19 pandemic and their effectiveness compared to, to the offline CPD session. Next. Good morning, I'm Legion Michael Ubisono. Now I'll explain about the problem formulations. So there are five problem formulations. The first one, what are the definition, benefits, and purposes of CPD? Number two, what are the effectiveness and implementation difference between online CPD, online CPD, and hybrid CPD? Number three, how's the responses variety of doctors about online CPD? Number four, what are the factors that influence the effectiveness of online CPD according to doctors? Number five, can online CPD really be as effective as offline CPD? Objectives. So there are also five objectives. The first one, to find out the definition, benefits, and purposes of CPD. Number two, to find out the effectiveness and implementation difference between offline CPD, online CPD, and hybrid CPD. Number three, to find out the responses, variety of doctors about online CPD. Number four, to find out the factors that influence the effectiveness of online CPD according to doctors. Number five, to find out whether online CPD can really be as effective as offline CPD. Next. The benefits. So there are three main benefits. The first one to the writers. This paper can be used for educational resources, practice and developing skills to conduct research and improving literacy skills by searching through dozens of journals. And the second one for the institution. For institution, adding sources of knowledge, especially about CPD, institutional considerations for developing CPD, and as a learning material to introduce students to CPD both online and offline. And the third and the final one is for the public community. Introduce to the public what CPD is, increase public awareness of importance of CPD, and the last one as a guide to know how to run CPD both online and offline. Thank you. Next. Good morning, I'm Yofilia Tioyonus. I will explain about the definition of CPD. CPD is the educational process and training that is performed by doctors who have already completed basic medical education and postgraduate training. Doctors do all formal and informal activities to upgrade their skills, knowledge, and attitudes through their practice to give the best possible patient care. Next. Good morning, my name is Jenny Sujaya, and let me continue the presentation with the history of CPD. So CPD's history was started as CME form in 1935. Then, by the 1960, the American Medical Association was the first to set educational standards and develop a credit system for the participant. But then, the physicians think CME can't fulfill their needs. So in the 1992, evidence-based medicine studies have shown that CME was good enough for a fusion of knowledge but didn't bring out skills improvement in patient care. 
then the World Federation for Medical Education, as, or we can say as WFME, was started to conduct a policy to institutional level, which was then written in WFME position paper in 1998. On December 2001, WFME decided to appoint International Task Force. This meeting was to determine the global standards in medical education. Later, the name CPD was chosen by the task force. Thank you. Next. Good morning, my name is Koma Imidiani and I would like to explain about the purposes and benefits of CPD. First is purposes. The general purpose is to encouraging every doctor to increase professionalism by assessing personal ability to plan competence development through the fulfillment of minimum credit scores as the requirement of practice lessons and recertification. Then the specific specific purpose is to improving the professional performance of doctors, improve doctor clinical knowledge and skills, and ensure the ethical attitude of doctors in providing medical services that prioritize patient safety for following their authority. Next. Next is benefits. First is personal benefits. CPD can increase the professionalism of a doctor, but as a healthcare professional, as an educator, professional benefits, CPD can maximize staff potential by connecting learning to theory, practice, and action. Last is community benefits. With CPD, doctors will be able to maintain their professional attitude toward patients to provide high quality health service. Thank you. Next. Thank you. My name is Nyaman Ayumedi Ramanda, and I will explain about the mechanism of CPD. Based on law number 29 of 2004 concerning the practice of doctors and law number 20 of 2013 concerning but medical education state that new doctors will receive a competency certificate after passing the competency test. In the first stage, doctors must make a personal development plan with considering their personal current work public health condition, personal missions, and priorities for achievements in the next five years. In CPD implementation, all doctors must to take documentation as evidence of all their activities. At the end, the doctors will carry out the recertification and registration process by completing all files to the Indonesian Doctor Association. Thank you. Next. Well, my name is Eunice Ujaya, and let me continue the presentation with the types of CPDs. There are types of CPDs with participant-based interaction CPDs, no participant-based interaction CPDs, self-directed learning based on professional point of view and how the CPD was held. With participant-based interaction CPDs require participants' proactive actions and involvement in the process, for example, attending seminars and conferences. No participant-based interaction CPDs doesn't need any responses from the attendee, for example, reading the most relevant news article Next, self-directed learning, including all unaccompanied activities like reading, publications. Based on professional's point of view can be divided into five major parts, learning, professional, community, and science education development activities and scientific publications. Based on how it was held can be divided into three main parts, offline, online, and hybrid CPDs. Offline CPDs requires the attendee to gather in one place. Online CPD requires internet connection, and the hybrid CPDs is held both online and offline to limit the number of offline attendees. Thank you. Thanks. Good morning. My name is Gusti Agung Ayu Saraswati. Advantage of holding offline CPD, first participant can interact for each other in the same places to make intimate relationships. Second, we know it internet access and other complicated software. But there are decent advantage participants spend more than an energy to arrive the location. Moreover, there are some more expenses, for example, space rental, accommodation, consumption during the activity. Next. Good morning, my name is Nathania Susanto. Online CPD is the 
activity of educating physicians via online softwares and also platforms such as Zoom and Cisco WebEx. The, the advantages of this method is first, it saves a lot of time and is flexible so everybody can join it, uh, even though their schedules are busy and they cannot come to the place. Uh, and it also saves a lot of cost from accommodation, transportation, and also consumption. However, the disadvantages are that not everybody has the good internet connection and also the facilities to join this type of CPD. Next. As for hybrid CPD, it is a mix of both online and offline CPD that gives the best of both worlds, and it offers a new method of CPD that is both comfortable and flexible for its participants. Thank you. Next. Good morning, my name is Christine Edgar, and I'd like to present our CPD online effectivity survey. We conducted a questionnaire in which the participant qualified the criteria, doctor who has an eligible and active license in Indonesia, or we call it STR, willing to answer honestly and corresponding with their experience. The survey was carried out from Monday, 6 September 2021 until Wednesday, 6 September 2021. Total participant of the questionnaire is 62 people. Next. The respondents placed by gender with the majority of male respondents, which is 54.8%, and female respondent 43.3%. Most of the respondents are general practitioners, both by specialists, magisters, consultants, and doctoral. The age ranging 31 until 40 dominates with a percentage of 40.3%, and the majority is from outside Bali. Thank you. Next. I will explain about learning resources preference. As seen on the figures, most respondents prefer online journal, workshop, and CPD before the pandemic happens. Other than that, ebook, textbook, and internet website also take up the majority of the responses. However, during the pandemic era, respondents' preference using the textbook and workshop as resources dropped significantly. On the other side, respondents preference using online journal and internet website as resources greatly increased. CPD and ebook percentage stagnant. Thank you. Next. So, based on our survey from the first chart, about 79% people get information of CPD online from their college and 67% from social media, 45% from medical application, and some other people get the information from their research, internet websites, Telegram, Indonesian Doctor Association, Pharmacy Marketing, and Medical Institution. From the second chart, the percentage of online CPD is about 96.8%. The percentage of online, offline CPD is 0%. And last but not least, the hybrid CPD are 11.3%. Thank you. Next. Okay, thank you. My name is Marta and I will explain about this chart. So we also asked about how much the respondents were interested in participating in CPD online. We look at the results and saw that 69.4% of respondents were very interested and 27.4% of respondents were interested, while 3.2% are less interested. From this data, it can be seen that most of the respondents are interested in taking online CPD. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Fernando Gosali. Now I will talk about the effectiveness of online CPD. As we can see on the chart, respondents also gave their thoughts regarding the effectiveness of online CPD during the COVID-19 pandemic. Almost half of all respondents, which is 45.2%, feel that online CPD is as effective as offline CPD. Then 29% of respondents feel that online CPD is less effective than offline CPD. Besides that, 24.2% of respondents feel that online speedy is more effective than, than offline speedy. And one respondent felt doubt about this. Thank you. Next. Good morning, I'm Amanda Devasha. So this is the chart of advantage during online CPD. The highest percentage is not bound by space and time with 82.3% and the lowest percentage is can be participate in various webinars at the same time and can be recorded with 1.6%. Next. Uh, this is the chart of barriers during online CPD. The highest percentage is internet connection problem with 82.9% and the lowest percentage is different time zone with 1.6%. 
So based on the data obtained, it is known that the benefits of online security that are generally felt by doctors are implementation that is not limited space and time with 82.3%, followed by the second option, saving time, energy, and cost with 74.2%. As for difficulties in undergoing security online, through data they obtained from respondents, most of them experience the same problems due to interference or problems with the interest with 83.9%. Thank you. Next. Back again with me, Marta. Here we also provide open questions regarding suggestions, critics, and complaints about the implementation of online CPD. There were mixed opinions about it. Some say online CPD is already going well. Some say it needs to be improved in terms of material, and the online CPD process is still less interactive because communication occurs can only be done in one way, so discussions are limited. Respondents also hope that the material provided is always updated and fresh, but there is one interesting answer that says, no matter how good the system implemented in CPD online, it will be in vain if there is no interest in learning from the people who participate. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Fernando Rosali. Based on the result that we obtained from the respondent, it can be said that in fact, the term of CPD is not yet fully known even by doctors. Most of the respondents know about CPD, majority from their peers, which is 77.4% of respondents. From this data, we can conclude that CPD is not well explained in informal forums, but it is spread from one individual to another. In the implementation of online CPD itself, it seems that it only became popular or realized when the pandemic took place, where a survey showed that 72.6% of respondents had only done online CPD for the past one until two years. Meanwhile, 45.2% of respondents answered that online speed is as effective as offline speed, and 24.2% of respondents said that online speed is more effective than offline speed. This result indicate that even though there are limitations, most doctors can still participate in online speed well and get the benefits. Actually, this is because the evaluation and development process of online speed is improving continuously, such as terms of material, method of delivering material, implementation time, and implementation media. Thank you. Next. Good morning. My name is Inyomang Sitaya Mahena Putra. Today, I will deliver the conclusion and recommendation. Uh, from the study above, we can conclude a few points. First, CPD is a coaching effort carried out systematically to improve the and develop the knowledge, skill, and attitude of doctors so that they can carry out their profession well and professionally. CPD, based on, based on how it was held, can be divided uh, into three main parts, offline, online, and hybrid CPD. Second, during the pandemic, CPD is mostly held online. Online CPD is cheaper, more flexible, and can be attended from anywhere regardless of space and time. Third, based on, on data collected, the most dominant CPD system that is chosen by the respondent is online CPD. Fourth, the respondent point out that uh, the effects of online CPD because the implementation is not limited of uh, space and time, followed by saving time, cost, and energy. Fifth, the respondent agreed that online CPD is as, is as effective as offline CPD. However, further development is still needed. Next, we have some recommendation. First, for newly graduate doctors, the study uh, provides general information of CPD to increase their interest about CPD and guide of how to run online, offline, and hybrid CPD. Second, for writers, the study can still be improved. There's many shortcomings related to the lack of in-depth discussion in several areas of, of analysis. The shortcoming of the study can be used as an upgrade for further study to, to provide a good paper, deeper analysis, and more deposit literature. Thank you. Next. Yes, thank you. That's all our presentation for today. We are very sorry if there are some mistakes during our presentation. Lastly, thank you for your attention. Om Santi 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 Om. Oh.